lower bracket round two, game number two, or lower bracket round two, hashtag two, Tomiko versus uh, Fuji. Oh, this overlay is wrong. There we go. Who's going to be the last player to qualify for the round of 16? Who's going to get the first point? If you make it to the top 16, you get one point guaranteed. Chemiko in the bottom right of uh, Ancient Isles is certainly the favorite here. Fuji in the upper left, the underdog, but kind of surprising that he uh, won his game against, or won a game in this group at all. Against a Night Elf that we don't know, but that Night Elf took a map up of focus, so can't be that bad. And Fuji wasn't too bad in this game against 1 2 0 as well. By the way, remember how I said I'm glad there's no Fire Lords in the meta anymore? Yep. Guess what we're having? <laughs> it's going to be a Fire Lord tower push. So you said earlier that uh, Orcs figured out what to attack the right targets. Yeah. Tell me, what are the right targets? First, you attack the Fire Lord a little to get him down. Um, so he has to be a little more defensive and can't put the right clicks out. Then you attack the Lava Spawns so they can't split. And then you attack the Fire Lord again. That's what I saw is the most effective, I think. Because I really don't know what the best way is. I would... My approach would be go for peasants first, kill towers after, kill more peasants once they arrive. But I don't know. We do have a cheer by the crestfallen 100 bits. Hearing you speak German so late in the game would only make it feel awkward. He says. We did a lot of German casts, even on our YouTubes, we still have them. Here we go. Fire Lord is out. It has been scouted. There's a two borrow attack against this. This is already a very good start for the orc. He's gonna have a second grunt here as the towers are coming up. Here we go. Backstep on the Fire Lord. First lava spawn is already out. He's gonna be able to get out a second one, but then. Needs to rely on the splits. There's not too much mana to work with, but here are the towers as well. Is he going for Lumber Mill? Yep. So he can go Guard Towers. I would love to have a Peon off base going for a shop. Makes it in the back, though. It's also nice that he just lets this expire. Okay, now he's kind of forced into an attack. But there's nothing to attack for the Lava Spawn here. Oh. Pretty cool. Doesn't work against buildings, by the way. Guys, in case you don't know, they only split. Those attacks only count against units. Not against towers either. Is it in range the borrow for the tower? Oh, it's so close, dude. But not quite. All right, in we go. Blade like right now, shouldn't the blade master going for the peasants? For the peasants? Yeah. Oh. It's four peasants. You kill them, then you kill yeah, the towers. Yeah, he, he uh, scares the fire lord away. That's good. Now he focuses the lava spawn so it doesn't split. He's losing a grunt over it, which yeah. is not. Perfect. That he really shouldn't have done. Uh. And now the peasants are also alive. They can still repair. I don't know. I always he's feel getting... like you should go for the peasants. He's getting two kills here, though. And there's no lava spawn anymore. So it's decent. But of oh, course nice micro on the so. peasants, by the way. Moving them between the towers. That was really well done. Yeah. And now the towers are up, Ooh, and, and no. all the Blade Master do! Dies. Dies. And the Borrow in front, I don't know if that one's gonna come up. Well, so he bad. might get this tower here, but it is mucho expensive. Actually, the Grunt dies, doesn't get the tower. Next Grunt dies. Wow. And that's GG! <laughs> I think so too. I mean, he gets the tower now. Wasn't too much repair, but he gets the burrow as well. Blade Master's coming back in a little, but that level up gave the Fire Lord more mana for another lava spawn. And with that, he can kill most likely one of the burrows. Thank you, Chaco, for the host. Thank you. How's it going in the Netherlands? I watched New Kids recently again. <laughs> so <laughs> good, 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 good. So funny, man. Didn't we talk about like someone having a new kid's haircut a couple of days ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that again? Ah, I forgot. Ted. No, not Ted. Which Ted? The uh, caster Ted? Yeah, but not really. But ah, I don't remember. 
No, uh, this would be something super hardcore for a viewer to say now in chat. That would be <laughs> listening to our stupid talks about new kids' haircut. <laughs> One for Chimiko. That was certainly easy. <laughs> One to zero had more trouble with this guy. But yeah, Fire Lord Tower Rush is if you don't really know how to do it, very hard to prevent. And Chimiko was really good at that, so no big surprise. New Kids is one of my favorite movies ever. That's that's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me curious now. Twilight Samurai. What's that? Is that as anime as it sounds? Invite. Invite the room. Here we go. Oh, Yumi's in. Yeah, it's in the, like he's casting all the time. He's also in the QQ group. He's so white for your ball, Yumi. They only really got uh, famous and popular in Germany, right? And the Netherlands, I guess. I obviously. I, I remember they were on TV Total a long time ago. <laughs> oh boy, that's... And, and there they said that they had, like, uh, yeah, big, uh, the biggest fan base in Germany, I think. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, we're stupid. We like stupid stuff. Speaking of which, when's the new uh, Jungle Camp? Do they still do that? Yeah, it's, it's always in January, but I don't follow it anymore. It's too mainstream now. It's too sellouts, too. Nah, the thing is that big. the participants are way too well prepared. So it's all planned out and kind of scripted. And that's boring. Yeah. That takes the appeal out of the format. They ruined it. Again, as always. All good things. As it is with the sequels, oftentimes. So, it's a barracks first again, Remo. Guess what? Fire Lord coming again. Oh, might it be Neo? Who knows? In this crazy world? Maybe it's the Naga first. No, of course it's not. I'm just <laughs> Which would be the worst first hero for a tower push? Pit Lord. Yeah, I think so too. Pit Lord with cleave attack first. Yo. I can't believe, like, uh, sometimes it, we, I get into these conversations with chat about, uh, you know, the best and the worst spells. And then, you know, I always bring up cleave as, like, the worst spell in the game. And then some people say, no, it's actually pretty good. Have you played custom games, man? <laughs> when he has plus 300 attack and 400% <laughs> cleave, man, he's so strong. <laughs> Dude, I played Footman Frenzy. I know how good that skill is. If you have six skill points for one skill, and also a class plus 100. But no, in this game, in this real Warcraft game, it is, with a new patch, I'm pretty sure it's the worst skill. Like, mana shield is also unbelievably, hor unbelievably horrible. But I'm pretty sure Cleave is worse. Yeah. It's really interesting that they didn't touch the Fire Lord at all. Uh, the, 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 the Pit Lord at all. Yeah, true. True. I think Howl is totally fine. I think actually Howl is a really good spell. Yeah. It's the only reason you ever pick that guy. Rain of Fire Fire is Lord kind of boring. And, and Cleave would all be buffed. Both be buffed. Yeah, but Cleave is a boring spell, yeah. I think back when they made Warcraft 3, I don't know, maybe they played a lot of Diablo back then or whatever, <laughs> they totally overestimated splash damage. Yeah. Like Cleave, so shit. Orb of Fire, so shit. What else is there? Uh, the metamorphosis, that's a good that's a good splash right there. Yeah. But it's chaos as well. So it's finished. We're waiting for the file lord. Actually there's nothing at the tavern. He moved the footman away because he knew that the late master is coming. Cool move. Now he moves it back in. A player's force is Oh Beastmaster it is! No Fire Lord. And a tech behind it. So... Oh, someone in chat is correctly pointing out the Pit Lord was changed, Neo. Check this out. The Doom Guards, this spell got nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> that is technically correct. 
So he's going for the shop. Is the damage enough? Fast tech by uh, Fuji as well. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, it finishes. Now repair. But is the repair too late? Yeah, it is. Oh, no. This is pretty bad. I mean, he doesn't need cells right now, though. Yeah, but, it, you know, it's a 135 gold and 30 lumber that you never get back, that you have to invest again. And it kind of cripples your game plan, you know? You had a fixed plan in your mind with when you go back to your base to get those sweet items. But no, you yeah, can't. but I mean, there's a Beastmaster in the game. Your game plan is out the window anyways. Kind of. Tech-wise here, Chimiko is really fast. Faster than the Orc. TP sold, dust purchased. And he looks like looks like he really wants to keep this shop from coming up, but he has uh, three grunts now to defend, plus the blade. Pretty good early game Orc army. And he gets a Putman here. Close to level two for the blade now. But yeah, this oh, is kind of... Repair is way too late. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh he opens actually, it up no, though. Not. Feel free, my brave pe uh, peons. Repair. Chimiko respecting the surround potential right there. Doesn't have a TP anymore. I think this was a pretty bad early game for Chimiko. Like, he got the keep kept the shop from coming up. But other than that, a player's forces he, are he got nothing done. Well, it's a moment. Uh, at the moment, this was so German. At the moment. <laughs> at the moment. At the yes. moment. At the moment. moment. <laughs> the, the Fuji. The Fuji is supply stuck. In this competition, it is uh, very fierce. So here's militia train. The Miliz wurde gerufen. <laughs> With a fire lord, double summons. But is he creeping now? No, right? There's zero experience on his units. But okay, he can go for the Shadow Hunter, which will of course be the number one thing. I like the positioning by Fuji here, keeping him away from the base, buying some time for his buildings, but of course they're taking a beating here. You know what we sick now? I'm not even kidding. Certain wards. Yeah, absolutely. Against those uh, rushes for sure. First Let's see already if dying. in the heat of battle, in his panic mode, he is gonna think of it. I like the boots, by the way. I always do, of course. They are on the Blade Master right now. There's Never a shop, the blade's low though, has to go back. And the shot from the human which came up first was getting cancelled here. These grunts still large and in charge. And Jamika really doesn't have the money for first powers at the moment. First split, and I think the second split will come uh, very soon as well. There's peons to attack, there's grunts to attack. Good micro by Jamika with the blade master can pick them up, but two grunts dead. Just waiting for the splitsies. One or two more attacks, I guess. Blade Master's low. Will you get focused? Yes. Uh, the boot save. Games. Here we go. Spliggity split split. Spliggity split. Here's the S-Tage. Go Serpent Ward. Let's go. Not really, man. The Siege. Oi! Serpent Wards. <laughs> okay. Will this save him? I don't want some buffer in front, usually. Serpent Wards don't add to the split counter, right? That's a good question. I don't think so. Well, the Beastmaster is stuck in the base. But, kind of. He doesn't have damage for that. Ooh, cancels the heal and regen before Windwalk. That was nice. By Chimiko. Oh, the Beastmaster uses a potion, stays alive. Pretty cool game now. Fight is all over the place. Blade Master chasing the Beastmaster. Fire Lord is trying to do some damage here. He's not supply stuck, but there's also no beastery somewhere. Another potion being used. All about the potions now. Fire Lord almost close to another lava spawn. But so far, he's out of mana. Oh, the first tower is up. This is where things get difficult. And here's the second. Oh. And there's gonna be a third very soon. Yeah, that's bye bye to the serpent wards, man. No love for the snakes. Snake, Snake need more buff. <laughs> more HP. Yeah. Becomes a warm level one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 
Dude, uh, what's it called? Back in the day, way back in the day, the healing ward had 200 HP. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, trivia fact that I didn't know. I know that from Downwares, the best of imbalance in books. <laughs> Educational videos. He's still making YouTube videos, by the way, of uh, Final Fantasy playthroughs and stuff. You were such a big fan. So sad he ventured away from Warcraft. You should write him a mail and invite him here. Nah, it's not good enough. <laughs> JK, he's awesome. GG! GG! Wow, that was an exciting game. <laughs> And Chimiko is through. Congrats. Yeah, the favorites prevail once more. 1 to 0. So, in um, Focus and Chimiko, here is your bracket, which is still alive. Uh, let me restream here. Is this updated now? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered! That means we have our 16 players, as I said, uh, 1 to 0. So, in. Focus and Shimiko from this group. In group C, we had Lucifer, Fly, Lin, and PCG. Group B gave us WFC, Infi, Moon, and Sock. And in group A from Thursday, TH, Colorful, Shao KK, and Lawlight. It feels like it's a lot of orcs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six orcs in the round of 16. Two humans, right? No, three humans with Sock. And only mm. three night elves, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. What's up with the night elves? Where are they at? Well, life didn't at attend this. Gave death wins once again. She had a rough group. Yep. Yeah. What about Rawright? He's in, right? Yeah, he is. All right, all right, all right. When are we going to be back, Neil? When are we going to have the round of 16? Uh, next is. Thursday. Group A and B on Thursday. Group C and D on Friday. We're going to cover uh, one group each day. The other group will be covered by Haitu Chaco. Uh, of course, we have to wait until the groups have been drawn and then we decide what's the best one. And then we're going to take it and, you know, the rest is for Chaco. And the playoffs will be on Saturday and Sunday. And, of course, we're going to be there to cover that one as well. That's it today for WGL, but more content is coming. We're going from China uh, from China to Europe and Korea, most likely. For the Rust Brain Qualifier number one, the seventh edition is coming up. Three players are already qualified. We need five more. So the upcoming five Sundays is going to be Rust Brain Cup time. Price pool is already like 1,500 bucks. Can be uh, boosted by the community. And today, what do we have? The Grid. Lucifer. Still is playing. Death My Lord boy is still. Playing. Late. He's going to win. Insuperable. Rain. Cool to see him. OC, Sheik, Agent, Ryder, Sonic, and Imperius. So, cool lineup. Not too many Koreans, though, right? Chamiku was playing until now. Focus is already qualified. Lolite is too lazy. And so in. I don't know. Maybe waiting for... A Worst grid or something. Okay, so that's gonna be our next uh, thing here. We're gonna take a little break, like 10 minutes to eat something, I guess. Yeah, food break will be good. Yeah, so let's say 15 minutes, or let's say 16.30. Yeah, that's, yeah, good, that's, good, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, all right, all right. Casters have to eat and drink, guys. We're no robots. Okay, so let's do this break. I'm gonna play you a little music, um, and then this continues. See you.